Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Why is Greenland melting? The most heard answer to this question is that's because humans are producing CO2 and CO2 causes global warming and global warming causes Greenland to melt. So when we stop producing CO2, Greenland will stop to melt. That is of course something for corrupt political agendas to push global warming as a religion. When you look at this graph, you see that the Earth temperatures are already rising for the last 15,000 years. And they are still rising because this trend didn't stop. And these rising temperatures have a massive impact on Greenland, on the ice sheet of Greenland. So here you see this animation, how Greenland moved over the North Pole due to crustal deformations and during this movement the ice sheet was formed. So this ice sheet is not very old and it was formed during this process of crustal deformation. And this white circle expresses the influence of a polar region on its circumference. So for example when uh, the pole is at sea the cold drifts away through the ocean and when the pole is at land like for example on Greenland the cold can accumulate as soon as the pole hits Greenland this, this white circle grows and so the influence of the polar region also grows. Greenland has now become at a latitude where it cannot maintain this ice sheet while the temperatures are still climbing over the coming centuries. So because of this trend of climbing temperatures, it has an enormous impact on this Greenland ice sheet. So it will melt and part of this melt is fueled by the Gulf streams that transport energy from the equators to the polar regions. But there is for humanity a catastrophe waiting for the long term. So for the coming few thousand years humanity will experience a lot of troubles with the melting of Greenland. No polar shifts on the short term, no massive catastrophes in the short term, not in your lifetime. So please relax on this. Yes, there is a catastrophe waiting for humanity, but on the long term, and you're talking about a few thousand years. Yes, a comet impact is catastrophic. These type of comets only come along in a few million years. Humanity has its fate in its own hands. There is no catastrophe waiting for us. We can be our own catastrophe. Don't believe what these fake channels predict for humanity. It is complete nonsense. The task that is waiting for many unhappy people is not prepping but is transforming their unhappiness into happiness. That is what they have to do. Governments have a clear agenda to control the population by using climate change as a leverage, as a power tool, so to speak. While climate change is used as a leverage, as a power tool to control the population, it is completely unknown what the drivers of climate change really are. Science is completely ignorant about this. Now back to the question, why is Greenland covered in ice and why is Greenland melting? We now know why it has become covered in ice. We know why it is melting now. The blue line represents zero degrees Celsius, which is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit northerly of this blue line the temperatures are below 32 Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius on an annual basis and below this blue line the temperatures are on an annual basis above 0 degrees and you see this strange bulge between Greenland and Scandinavia 
So this zero degrees Celsius line is even pushed across the Arctic Circle, which is this yellow dashed line. And this is caused by the Gulf Stream, the Gulf Stream that transports enormous amounts of energy to the polar region. And this energy transport is the result of the second law of thermodynamics, that energy always goes from warm to cold. And in this case, Greenland is not at a natural location, so to speak. The balancing mechanism on Earth wants to melt this strange anomaly. We have reworked two different researchers, the graph that shows the sun spots and the other are the little icons of Greenland. Orange is melt and blue is no melt. So you see at the moment that the amount of sunspots are peaking, the melt is increasing. And sunspots are decreasing, the melt also decreases. We see this happening at around 2002 and at around 2012. And there is a clear correlation between the two. When sunspots are decreasing, we clearly see that the melt is also decreasing. That's it for today, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Why is Greenland melting? Because it has moved over the North Pole. And during this movement, it formed a massive ice sheet and it is now moved at a latitude where this ice sheet cannot be maintained. So the next video will be about the question what is orientation and what is so interesting about orientation and what we have discovered by using orientation of ancient structures thank you for watching until the next time bye bye